Yes, I'm back with the Dalarna again, but this time, a lot of you mentioned the torpedoes are actually much better than I thought, and that really comes down to the reload on these torps. Base, they actually have a 10 second better reload than Holland. And you guys all know how much I enjoy Holland as a torpedo boat. So we're gonna take a look at a bit of a torp focused build on the Dalarna. I intended for this to be more of a post commentary style of video where I had a really good game in the Dalarna with Torps, and then I could talk about how much fun I had. But I played a lot of games, and I didn't really have anything good. So we're just gonna hop into a game and see how it goes. Hopefully we can have some good experiences. I'm also gonna mention a little bit of why I think it didn't go so well for me today. But looking at this build real quick, of course, Torp focused, Torp focused everything even giving up uh, some main gun accuracy just to get that little bit of extra speed out of these torps. So under 70 second base reload, and then of course this commander here, every time we get eight torp hits, we get another 5% reload buff. We get an improved adrenaline rush. So all very, very good things here. So let's see what this Dalarna can do today. So as we jump into our first game here, I wanna talk a little bit about why I think things went so poorly for me. And it really comes down to the meta at tier 10. It's tough for me to really blame people for sitting in spawn, but um, that's kind of what happened all day today. People were just pretty content to chill in their spawns, both my team and the enemy team. That of course makes it quite difficult for a torpedo boat to really do much, especially when there's a lot of DDs out these days and it's very difficult to push past them, get around them and flank. So then we're left in a scenario where we have to push to even get range on our torpedoes. Yes, we do have great range, but of course we're gonna guarantee a lot more hits from closer range, uh, which is what we wanna look for. Also, the second torps here are pretty nice. Just look at that damage increase. 17,500 up from around 10,000. Yeah, we wanna be making use of those whenever we can, but it's quite difficult when you have to deal with a DD to start with. And Dalarna has good guns especially the amazing firing angles, but it's kind of difficult to push through and get quite aggressive with this DD when the enemy team suddenly gets a lot closer and then you have a DD fight where you don't have as much support as the enemy DD does. And I found that was happening quite a lot throughout my day. Sorry about that, forgot to silence my phone, my bad. Uh, but I found that happening quite a lot. So then it was up to me to try and figure out how to deal with the enemy DD and still get some serious value out of these torpedoes. In this case, uh, looks like we're gonna be more than fine here since there's both DDs are just here in the cap. Um, yeah, we should be reasonably good here to actually pinch them. There's a Brindisi here, Kremlin. People are pushing right now, so we're actually uh, in some luck here. This is great. I'm actually going to try and launch one set of torps here. Probably at the Venice. I'm going to see if it goes like this. And now, gearing. Hello, friend. And the thing we're worried about, of course, is Venice Salvo. So we want to get as angled as possible to that. I'm going to take some pain. But hey. See, this is the thing. we got to deal with these DDs if we're going to actually get in and do a bunch of damage with our torpedoes. Notice I'm trying to angle to the Venice as much as possible. I don't care as much about the gearing. Hopefully, I'm not sure what our bird DC is shooting at. Maybe he already shot and got a good hit in already. But there we go. Hopefully finish the gearing off soon. It's taking longer than I thought. Um, yeah, I lost a lot more of my HP than I thought I would there. But hey, DD dealt with one of them. And we have a bunch of heals remaining. So even as a torpedo boat, this build, of course, very, very torp focused. Hey, we could do a little bit of gun damage itself. And honestly, I would have taken a lot less damage there if there wouldn't have been a Venice on my flank. Um, really what I want to do in a lot of these gunfights is just abuse these turret angles. This is something that not many DDs have in this game is having all of their firepower at such a steep angle. Makes you a much harder target to hit. Um, now we have a decision to make. Do we push into C with our team here? Or do we go around and try and flank, maybe get ourselves a nice uh, torpedo salvo on the Schlieffen? I think we want to hit the Schlieffen up. So I'm gonna actually swap over to my uh, more damaging torps and see if we can't do something here. So the enemy team, 
Looks like they're getting blocked up in their spawn over here at A. We're kind of crushing them when it comes to... Oh yeah, there goes the sap cell. <laughs> We're kind of crushing them when it comes to this flank. So might be a blowout again. I think that was one of the other things was in the close games. That's more what I was talking about earlier on. But there's just so many blowouts these days that it can be difficult to even rack up damage and try and even have yourself like a really, really monster game in one of these ships. Well, because the games are over so quick sometimes. I think the Schlieffen's going to try and turn an angle a little bit here. Uh, but to play things a little safe, we don't actually want to get spotted here. There's a Venice. And of course, Schlieffen can do some serious damage with its secondaries at this range. I think these Torps should be good to go. So again, we want to hit 8. We're not going to hit that here. But our goal is 8, and that gives us another 5%. Torpedoes direct front. Whoa. What are these tarps? Oh, man, she scared me. Um, okay. Well, we dodged them. Probably sh No, that's got to be the Venice. That's got to be the Venice tarps. Knows where I am at. No, Notice how I'm not RPF'd right now? It's kind of funny. Alrighty. So we're going to probably crush this Schlieff in here. Especially if he's going to just go uh, in a straight line here. He's accelerating, so we want to put it about there. Now, he might have a Hydro, and then those are all going to whiff. <laughs> but I'm assuming he's going to try and get around behind the Kremlin. That's my assumption here. Enemy battleship detected. Certainly have to be a little bit careful. But this is the dream, right, of a torpedo boat. You get in the back lines... And you just absolutely crush people. Alrighty. That might be him dead. Remember, these are the damaging ones. Yep. Much more damage. Maybe I should have gone for the the weaker ones. It actually guarantees more hits. Uh, funny enough, that's maybe something I should have considered there. But hey, we'll take a dev strike. Finally. This is already way better than any of my games I had today in this ship. I played a lot. I think I streamed for like three hours today. And for those of you that have uh, been to some of the streams, you'll know that uh, hour and a half, and I'm usually quite done with this game. <laughs> so it's been quite a while on it today. And uh, didn't even get anything like this. So, hey, awesome. It works. And honestly, these bonus torps are actually much better than uh, I had even thought. And just with a little bit of AR, look at that. We're almost at a minute reload. Wow. Now, I would be considering farming here with main guns if, uh, well, if that wasn't there. <laughs> Anytime there's a Venice, you want to take note and you do not want to, especially broadside on. I mean, he could one-shot me here very easily. He doesn't even need all of his guns, and that would be a very easy one-shot. Looks like a super heal might save the lion a little bit. Get us two torpits. That would be our 5% reload buff. One, two, there it is. So we don't quite kill him, but there we go. Torpedo reload buffed again, and there we go. Sub 60 second reload on these torps. Uh, it's pretty hilarious. And it's still not even a bad gunboat, which is awesome. Looks like uh, Venice is going off on an adventure. Uh, we can allow that. I think we really just want to go back and try and get some more damage on Yamato or something like that. He's guessing where I am. Interesting. <laughs> I love this playstyle. I don't know why. It's so much fun. And it's a little, it's certainly different than a submarine playstyle, because of course I don't have that get out of jail free, just uh, dive kind of thing, right? And we're faster, more flexible ship. We actually have main guns. I really, really enjoy this. Although that said, I was playing, I think I played a Del, no. Zorky. The super, um, the Super Russian DD today, and that thing's actually awesome too. It was a blowout, um, but I got off to a really hot start. I think I got up to 60k off an Ohio farm, like just as he was turning out even. It was quite nasty. So these DDs are pretty awesome at the Super Ships tier. I, I've traditionally rated the Battleships, well not Battleships, the Satsuma specifically, and of course the um, Condi and Annapolis as the best Super Ships, but the more I'm playing this uh, Dalarna, hey, I mean, 
even though the games today weren't great, I was winning most of them. The battle impact is certainly there. Certainly underled that. And the Zorki is an awesome gunboat. Man, if you played Kaba back in the day and you miss that ship, you know Delny's no replacement for that. The the new Zorki is actually awesome. It's so much fun to use. Um, very, very, very strong ship if you're looking for that gunboat playstyle. It just kind of sucks that a lot of these super ships are so expensive to run. Um, even with, I mean, my full CC style premium account, keep in mind guys, I get doubloons from Wargaming every month. I'm getting the premium or like the extra premium battle pass, like all of this extra bonuses. And I still didn't make that much credits today playing all these super ships. So it's unfortunate that we don't really have a great way to play a lot of these ships reasonably uh, without dipping into massive debt on credits, which I think is okay, I guess. Maybe you want it to cost a lot to play at high tier, but I don't know. Some of them seem like they give too much of an advantage. I really do like the um, design of the Dalarna and things like the, the tree, where you don't have the insane gimmicks, but you still are very much more than a tier 10 ship. There we go, getting ourselves a nice couple of tour pits. Look at this. This is what I love so much about having this extra um, gun angle, is you just angle in, and so much of the battleship salvo just kind of misses. And we could probably go for some AP here. I'm gonna turn out to get some torps as well. Just in case he decides to stop there. Although he's definitely dead. <laughs> and this DPM is all without really investing in the guns at all. Of course, if you do invest in the guns, I mean, they are really awesome. I still have yet to try the range build. 166, where was this today? I was suffering. I was actually suffering today, guys. I was miserable this afternoon. <laughs> hey, I'll take it, man, I'll take it. It's that uh, YouTube clutch gene, I guess, something like that. Wow, where was this all day? My goodness. Um, yeah, so torpedo focused Delarna. There we go, actually doing some work for us. Uh, next time I take this ship out on YouTube, I'm gonna probably try and be running a full gun build with range, giving myself the option to farm from longer ranges with this ship. Uh, could be very strong as well. I know they nerfed the damage or the DPM a lot. Before this ship actually got released, it had a two second base reload. It out DPM'd everything in the game. It was insane. Um, all of the DDs, just like all of them. It was ridiculous. So it is good that they nerfed that down, but uh, I think a full gun build could still work as well. But you know me, very much interested in that uh, torpedo play style, especially with the fast torps, man. It's so fun using 95 knot torps. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really fun. It's really fun to hit that many torpedoes on people. It feels quite uh, rewarding, I guess. Um, Almost a bit like how Battleship Dev Strikes feel rewarding to me. It's a, it's a similar idea there, especially with the narrow spread. It takes, uh, it means I predicted someone extremely well, and because of that, I'm rewarded with damage. That's what it feels like to me. So a lot of fun. Um, at least this match certainly wasn't as much this afternoon. But hey, let me know what you think about these super DDs. Talarn is not bad, although Yamagiri and Zorki are definitely better at their niches. That torpedo focus, Yamagiri is pretty disgusting. And of course, Zorki is just such an awesome farming DD. But there's some pretty awesome super ships in the game. Um, and Talarn is one of my favorites, honestly. Just the consistency here, at least, was really, really nice. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.